It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. It is Thursday. We are rolling into a weekend of happiness. I am wishing that on everyone. Cesar Chavez weekend celebration. Uh, for those of you who know who Cesar Chavez is, if not, look him up. And, of course, just the greatness of some of us being off for a couple of days. Hoorah! If you are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining. I greatly appreciate your time. And I greatly appreciate you giving me a chance on today and checking me out. If you are brand new to this channel, that is very big to me. So I just want to make sure that you know that I appreciate you coming on today. If you're an OG, you already know your continued support has been and will continue to be, I'm sure, fantastic. And I greatly appreciate everything that you do to keep me uh, ticking. So today, let's talk about this thing, this thing called happiness. And let's really just hone in on the fact that happiness is really a word that is so easy to explain because it actually is derived from another word. And the other word is happening. So if you understand in order to be happy, you have to be happening. I think life is so much easier. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about is your happiness happening? Is it actually moving? Is it doing something? Are you into something or someone or some project or some something that is really putting you into a place of being happy? Now, you hear a lot about happiness being based on, you know, a relationship or something of that sort. You know, how the relationship's not making you happy and how you say to yourself, well, you know, I need to move on because I'm just not happy anymore. Before you say that, from this point on for the rest of your life, I want you to stop and ask yourself, what are you doing to create the happiness? If it's something that you can do to make a situation happy, then I want you to do it. I'm going to say it again. Before you ever complain ever again about not being happy in anything, be it a relationship, a job, your circumstances, whatever it is, before you make a decision, I want you to ask yourself, what am I doing to make that happen? Happiness is based on happening. In order to be happy, you have to be happening. You do not hear that word in any other prospect of non-movement. You'll never hear someone saying they're happy if they're actually not being active. It's typically the word that you use for all activity, be it, you know, out at say like an amusement park or down to the simple fact that you went to buy a car or you went and bought a home. And someone might say like, oh my God, well, what do you mean? You know, you don't really do. Yes, you do. Yes, you think back. Everything that you say that you're happy about, it caused you to move, to create, to build, to initiate. There's always something there. And the truth of that is, is that when we really start to understand it from that aspect, we stop saying that we're not happy. Because typically, the only reason why you're not happy is because you're not moving. You're not doing something clearly that you need to do. Even if that means, let's just say in a relationship, it means to exit stage right. It means to walk away from whatever it is. We just talked about that in acceptance just Tuesday, right? We just held a whole conversation about what we need to accept about ourselves. Well, this is one of those things carrying on from that conversation that lets you know that once you have accepted who you are, you also have to accept, accept the circumstances that you're in, be it by your accepting or not, you're still in it. And you still have to own that you're the person that creates that thing that causes you to want to go out and do more. Typically, it's happy. You don't really hear people say joyful. But if you're a Bible reader, I'll go deeper and tell you, you don't you don't see happy as an action in the Bible. It's all things that are joy driven or something that is basically happening that is not caused by an happening thing. I know that sounds funny, but joy, joy is something that's from within. Even though happiness is an inside job, joy is something that happens without any movement whatsoever. It's a peace. It's a serenity. It's a deep place within your soul that just allows you to have a, an unsurmountable amount of gratitude and appreciation for something that it just makes you glow from the inside out. That is not happy. That is not what happy is. Happy is definitely something that is the smile. It's the external 
for others to be able to see within you that you are excited and enjoying something that's happening in your life back to happening so if happiness is that then do we still understand though that it's an inside job and it's an inside job because it's based on your movement it is based on you executing it is based on you taking control over whatever it is that's going on in your life and making it happen so always tell yourself that if you're making something happen you're going to be happy if you're not making something happy, you're not going to be happy. And it really is just that brutally simple. So when I think of all the people in the world who are talking about they're not happy and they don't really know how to get happy, usually you do. Usually you're in a position where not only do you know, you just don't want to do it. Typically for most of us in our lives, there's really not much that comes across our table that we don't know what to do to solve for the most part doesn't mean that we always want to do it doesn't mean that we have the access to it doesn't mean that we want to even work towards getting the access to whatever it is but i'm just being honest when i say nine times out of ten you're very aware of what could cause you to be happy i'm now challenging you to say instead of me saying that i'm not happy and leaving it to the chances of the world to just change on its own i'm going to take the initiative to get up off my bum and make it work for me. And it's going to be fantastic. And I'm going to be happy in it. Because I'm in total control over it. And I'm going to be able to make that happen for myself. And in that happening. I'm going to be happy. So I'm going to continue to say those words. Because I want you to just get it drilled into your system. That that thing. That smile that people want to see. That identity. And you know. Trust me. I get it all the time. All of my pictures that I you know usually take. I'm not a smiler. And I'm, I'm not a smiler for a plethora of reasons, but let's just be in a real place. I'm not a smiler. I've learned to use my eyes and other gestures to kind of identify that I'm happy. But I was asked one day, you know, would I ever decide to smile because it would just show how happy I am? And I did say at that time, and I, I'd still stand on it, that the smile does not identify if I'm happy. My actions do. I would tell you the same thing. I'm not telling you to walk around with a fake smile on your face and try to prove to the world that you're happy. I'm telling you that happiness is an inside job. Joy is an inside job as well. But joy, again, is it's within a piece of something. It's the serenity and the appreciation and the agreement within your soul that it is well and you are good. Happiness is when you are executing and moving in something and allowing yourself to see how great you are based on your actions of something. Now, somebody might say, well, where did you get this definition from? It is a Procedaism. That is the way I feel about it. If you do not, feel free to comment and let me know how you would define it. But for me, that is what I push for myself and I tell myself every day, girl, if you are not happy in anything, then understand that it is your choice to remain in it and it is your choice to just remain unhappy. If you want to be happy, then you make it happen. You don't allow yourself to be anything but that. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy. And I'm not saying that all situations are going to call for you to be able to just jump right up and do it. But what I am saying that before you try to prove me wrong that you can't do it, prove me right by doing what I'm asking. And then come back and report to me how well things worked out for you. So I'm not going to make this video long at all today. I wanted to come on and give you all of that love and shout out. I wanted to thank you so much for everything that you do. I wanted to get you ready for next week because we're going to definitely have our end of the month. Uh, I shouldn't say end of the month. It's actually our 90 day end of the month uh, recap. I want to see what's really happening in your life. I'll tell you some things that's going on in mine. And, you know, we're just going to really continue to have a good time as best we can. I send my love. And my prayers out to everyone who is under any type of scrutiny right now because life is crazy. But I definitely want you to know that you are in my prayers. Outside of that, always remember to do three things. Live life authentic. Thank you as always. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye.